Hey guys, it's G. This week I'm going to be giving you some slider recipes. Now before I get started, I want to let you guys know that I'm using tuna for these recipes, but if you don't like tuna or don't want to use tuna, you can use anything else that you'd like in these recipes. You could use chicken or beef or tofu. Just replace the amount of tuna that I use with whatever ingredient that you would like. Now, let's get cooking. So first you're going to need one can of tuna. I just got tuna that's in water. You can get tuna in olive oil or any other kind of oil that they sell at your store, but I just found that tuna in water just kept the flavor neutral so that way I could add whatever I wanted. So after I drain the water, I just put the tuna into a bowl and then I'm gonna take a fork and break it down so that way it's smaller pieces and not so chunky. And then after I did that, I put one egg into a bowl and I'm scrambling it up. The egg is going to be the bindant with the tuna so that way everything sticks together. You want to make sure that when you mix your tuna and your egg, you just mix it all, one can, one egg, and it should be plenty. And that's just going to be the base for the whole or for all of the tuna burgers. So this one is with cabbage and onions. So I'm first chopping some garlic up, just going to mince it. And once your garlic is minced, you can go ahead and put it into a frying pan with a little bit of oil. And you're just going to cook it around until it gets fragrant. And in the meantime, I am slicing some onion up. For both of these, you want to make sure that they're sliced pretty small because these are tuna sliders. So the burgers are going to be small, so you need small pieces so that way it all sticks together in the end. So after I added that to the frying pan, I'm adding some pink Himalayan salt. some ground black pepper, and then I'm mixing that around. After that's cooked for a little while, I'm adding my cabbage. So I'm just using bagged shredded cabbage. Cabbage is really cheap no matter what, so if you wanted to just buy a head of it, you could, but I just bought the pre-shredded pre -shredded kind. And so I'm just cooking around until it's wilted like this. And then I am adding some more ground black pepper. I wanted a really peppery taste for this, so I just added extra after this. If you don't want uh, that much pepper in it, you can omit the second addition of pepper. And then I'm just pushing, putting that to the side so that way it'll be ready when I'm going to form my burgers. So I'm taking my tuna, And I'm just using one tablespoon um, measuring, so that way it makes like the perfect size tuna burger. And I'm taking some of that cabbage, and I'm just mixing that together. And then I'm putting it into my hand and kind of just pretending it's like a meatball, and just forming it uh, into a circle, and then I can flatten it out in the pan or on the cutting board. And that's what it should look like. While I have that on the side, I'm taking some frozen shredded hash browns and I'm just putting them into a pan. And then I'm pouring some oil over top of them and I'm just going to cook them up so they get a little fried. And then once they're cooked down like this, you can remove it from the heat and then put your burger onto the pan. And then eventually it will brown and you'll be able to put it onto your mini bun. And then just add some more cabbage and onions on top. And some of those hash browns. And there you have it, your first slider. For this tuna burger, you're going to need corn and refried beans, and cilantro, and some taco seasoning. And I'm just following the same exact process, taking one tablespoon of the tuna and putting it into a bowl on the side. And then I'm adding some of my refried beans, some corn, some of that taco seasoning. 
and a couple pieces of cilantro. Now when I first was making these burgers, I didn't think to mix the tuna and the egg from the start. So I was adding a little bit of egg per burger, but I highly advise adding the egg in the beginning because otherwise your consistency is going to be off. So my last tuna burger looked more dry and this one is a lot more wet. But both of them turned out, it just will be a lot more even if you mix the egg and the tuna from the beginning. But eventually it fried and looked like this and I was able to put it onto my mini bun. And then I'm just gonna take some salsa This is just a broken piece of a taco shell, but you can use tortilla chips if you have them. I broke that up and then I added some sour cream. And I'm mixing all of this in a bowl until it looks like this. And I'm just using that to top my tuna burger. And there you have it. You could also add some more cilantro if you wanted to. I think that would add an extra little kick. So this is my second tuna burger recipe. And for my last one, you need some sun-dried tomatoes, some grated cheese, some parsley, and to follow the same process. So one tablespoon of the tuna put into another bowl. At this point is when I realized I can mix all of the tuna and the egg together. Uh, and it made my process a lot easier. But I took a couple sun-dried tomatoes and added them into the bowl and then some parsley as well. And then I put in some of the cheese and I just mixed it all together. And this is what this burger looked like. And once it was ready, I took it out of the pan, put it onto my mini bun. And then I took some fat-free ragout, some arugula, and some balsamic glaze. You can use full fat ragout. Uh, this is just what I had on hand. So after I put the ragout, I put the arugula and a drizzle of the balsamic glaze. And there you have it. That's my final slider recipe. I hope you enjoyed all of these. They would be very good with any kind of meat, especially chicken I think would taste super good and it will leave you wanting more. So that's all that I have for this week. I hope you're super hungry for more recipes and want to subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up and comment below. Hopefully I'll see you again next week.